don't know why I'm always laughing. Hey, everybody. Take this seatbelt off, honey. <clears throat> that was nasty. Patience, ill. Hey, guys. Hi. I can finally see. Hey. Yeah, my scope. Get out of my video. What's up, what's up? Wanna encourage you guys, go ahead and invite your follow. We are sitting in the car waiting on some wings. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna jump on Periscope and go ahead and do me a quick sister chat. If you are a man, we love you, but we need you to exit. This is only for my sisters. <laughs> to my brothers, before you leave, you can swipe right, swipe left, swipe up. <laughs> hey everybody, hey. Yeah, I can see now. I went back and watched that scope, y'all. It was so funny. I was laughing at myself. And so, <laughs> how y'all like this new lipstick? I got on a nude. It's a matte nude color by Maybelline. Y'all like it? I don't know. Nudes sometimes make your lips look ashy. <laughs> yes, I can see, honey. Thank you so much. Want to encourage you, go ahead and invite your followers. Let's have a quick dialogue this tonight for Sister Chat. Um, like I said, I'm just all about being productive. And we're out here waiting for our food, me and my daughter. Yes, I can see. Yes, honey. <laughs> so want to encourage you, go ahead and swipe and, and invite your followers. I can't even see what I named this scope. I think I named, I know I named it Life After Betrayal. How to let go move on and love again and so what we want to talk about is tonight is divine sisterhood um i was talking to sarah from trinidad earlier today and we were talking about some things i mean there's things we have experienced in life and i want to encourage you as women that we're going to go through things in life we're going to go through things with women where you know people are not going to always agree with us they're not going to always like us the people that start out with you hey tommy the people that start out with you are not always going to end up with you. Um, some people, you know, some relationships, sadly, do have an expiration date. You know, I, I remember the first time I heard George Bloomer say that, I, you know, I had a problem with that. I was like, what do you mean? But that is the truth. Some relationships have an expiration date. And so... You know, you got to understand that life, the way life is today is that we got to forgive people. And so I wanted to share some of my experiences. Um, you know, last year, um, you know, there was just some people that's been in my life for a long time, guys, that I did not, that I, that I didn't know would not be here today. And somebody said, how do I forgive? How do I move on? How do I trust again? And it is hard. It's very hard. But, but you, you know how you do it? Time. I don't have nothing deep to answer, to give to you time. You know, um, you know, I've lost a lot of people that were close to me in my life at one time. I swear I felt like Job, where he lost all 10 of his children at one time. I promise you, every person that was close to me fell off in the same season. And I was like, Jesus, wait a minute now. Hala, hala, hala. <laughs> I was like, hala, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness, he walked out without a word and beat you up on Valentine's Day. Well, my goodness, well, guess what? He did you a favor. Now, this is not, you know, I don't want anybody to get it twisted. This is not a male bashing session. Why you looking like that? This is not a male bashing session. <laughs> Why you looking like that? This is not a male bashing session, but what we are, we're sisters. And so we come together. That's what Sister Chat is all about. And y'all make sure y'all go and like Sister Chat with Carla Cannon on Facebook. Yes, I turned my the Carla Cannon show because I was no longer using that page. I turned it into Sister Chat with Carla Cannon. So I'll post all of these replays, any book um, that we're going to be teaching from. It's going to be on the page. And it's all about empowerment. Yes, being a support system so we can dialogue. And so um, actually to my sister that said that you lost your boyfriend on Valentine's Day, he did you a favor because actually I'm pretty sure there were signs you know being shown that he was not the one for you but you didn't have the courage to walk away sometimes when people walk out of our lives they they actually do us a favor I had a woman in my life that called me her girl I call her my Oprah and she does not stand with me today did it hurt absolutely absolutely it hurt it hurt me to my core i didn't think i could move on because there are some people that when other people walked away i said i know them two right there i can rely on well them two i thought i could rely on are no longer here do i hate her absolutely not 
Absolutely. Do I miss her? Absolutely. But can I reach back out and rekindle that relationship? Absolutely not. There are times when we really got to just let go. And let me tell you some things that you do not do in your friendships that will ruin your friendships. Anytime there is an issue, do not text a conversation. I'm learning that if it's more than a couple of words, I got to have a whole conversation. I don't need to be texting you that. We need to have a conversation. Yeah. Texting has ruined. Y'all go ahead and invite your followers. Texting. Thank you, um, Nene. Watch me whip. Watch me, Nene. I'm just saying. So texting has ruined a lot of relationships. Because here's the deal. And let me say this. If you are fighting for a friendship, that the other party is not willing to fight, you have to let that thing go. Because I was more concerned with, let's eat lunch, let's talk. You know, we had a disagreement, something ain't right. Let's, you know, y'all tap that screen and sew them hearts now. This is not a game. But, you know, I was like, can we, you know, let's meet. And how do you my girl telling me, you don't have time to meet with me? Oh, well, not this week. I'm bull No, that's called you're avoiding me. And we got an issue that we really need to go ahead and deal with. And the more time we allow to wait, the more that thing can begin to fester. And so what I'm learning in friendships is that we got to deal with things head on. Y'all stop. Thank you, baby. Y'all stop thinking that there's not going to be conflict in your friendships because it's going to happen. Conflict in friendships is inevitable. It's going to happen. But it's all about how you handle it. It's all about how you handle it. Don't be texting conversations. Mm -mm. That's one of the things that I realized I did wrong. Don't be trying to drag people to a place that they don't desire to go. Don't let people ride your coattail. If they're not qualified, check for the passports before they get on your plane. Why are you about to laugh? That was not funny. Check your passports because some of you are like me. You wrestle with so much depression, so much anxiety, so much loneliness that anybody that paid you any attention, you was like, yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Because you didn't know your real value. You didn't know your real worth. So you allowed anybody to just come in and get on your, come on in the room. You just allowed anybody to just come on. But this in this hour, in 2016, you're going to start checking for passports. Yes, you are. Because you're going to value you. And them days of begging people to be your friend, let them jokers go. If they don't want to fight for your relate, listen, even if you're in a relationship with the opposite sex. If they're not willing to fight for that thing, you got to let it go. Once you've done everything you can do, y'all, I'm telling you. Now, I'm not an advocate for divorce, but I do believe that it takes two people to make that thing work. If you are fighting and fighting and fighting and pressing and pressing, you praying and praying, and you just miserable, and it's been 10, 5 years, 10 years, so I would think you better let it go. Now, I'm not saying go divorce your spouse. I'm just saying there comes a time where you got to reevaluate your life and say, okay, Jesus, you know, and, and, and ask the Lord, has he released you? And so we're talking about overcoming betrayal. There was a young lady that I was very close with, you know, on my job. And I shared some intimate things with her and she began to share them with other people. But that was the best thing she could have ever done to me because that betrayal, come on, that her betrayal, her kiss, it kissed me to my destiny. Just like when Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss. Jesus knew who Judas was before he allowed Judas into his camp. Some of y'all got to stop canceling out people because some of them got to fulfill their, assign their assignment before they exit left. The kiss was necessary. Had she not betrayed me, I probably would have never left that job. I probably would have never put in that two-week notice. I probably would have never done it. And let me tell y'all something else. Stop being so trusting. Make people prove themselves to you before you just let y'all. I was the type, yeah, come on at the house. You know, yeah, you can wear my shoes. Yeah, you can wear my clothes. Yeah, you can wear my jewelry. Come in, let me do your makeup. Girl, I do your hair. I was that kind of friend because I was so rejected and I didn't have people that accepted me and I didn't want anybody else to feel that way. But you guess what now? I ain't turning light back on. But you, but guess what? I'm checking passports now. We got to get rid of the toxic relationships. People that tear you down. No, go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. Now, in celebrating you, you can be corrected. You need accountability. You need friends around you that will tell you, boo-boo, that's doodle and it stink. You need somebody to tell you, yeah, honey, you, yeah, you need to get that together. Yeah, you keep dating the same type of brothers and attra attracting the same type of people. You need somebody to tell you, listen, it's not them, it's you. 
You need a sister that'll tell you, honey, listen, you on the phone with that joke a little too much. Y'all getting a soul tie. You need a girlfriend that'll tell you, stop he hiding in these married men face. You need somebody that's going to check you. And so how do you forgive? How do you let go? And how do you love again? Y'all, when Sarah from Trinidad came into my life, I promise you, she came at a time where it was so perfect. And some of y'all might be like, well, you don't even know her like that. And, you know, da, da, da. Oh, that girl came from Trinidad to North Carolina. You can say what you want to say. People don't do that every day. People can act like they got your back, but ain't nobody leaving from the, from the islands that met you on Facebook unless the Lord sent them. You can say what you want to say. That girl came from Trinidad. Flew from Trinidad and pay her and somebody sponsor her ticket to come to my conference. And she spent days with me. And she came at a time when the Lord literally took everybody that I had from around me. And she was the one there that helped me get through that process. Because imagine if I was by myself. It was almost like a divine setup. Well, the Lord knew he was about to do a cleaning. Because remember, I told you guys with the shifting comes a sifting. And so he began to clean house and he knew that I couldn't handle doing it. I mean, I broke down because I was like, wait a minute. These my girls. Y'all was just with me in Detroit at the Jewel Taker show. Y'all was just with me everywhere I go. Y'all was right there with me. Hello. What's going on? Where you at? How two weeks before my conference, I get rid of a whole team. It was painful. Does that make them bad people? Absolutely not. I love them. There's been so many times I went to open up an email and the Lord would say, shut it down. I'd be like, wait a minute, but I love them. He'd be like, mm -mm, shut it down. I released you. Now release them and let them go. You can love people from over there. Now, have I ran into them? No, but if I see them, oh my God, I probably would be so happy. Like, oh my God, I love you. Because when you genuinely love people, it don't just go away just like that. They can make you mad. They can, they can, it's your off. But when you genuinely love people, you know, even when they're not in your life, you still love them. It took everything in me. I found out that one of them got hurt the other day. I almost went to her house to make sure she was okay. The Lord was like, uh-uh. I tried to send an email thinking, well, I'm going to see how she's doing. The Lord was like, uh-uh. He said, nope. So let me hear from you guys. What are some of the things that y'all are dealing with? And what healed this was time. Some of you may be asking, how did you get over it, Carla? Y'all, I'm still healing. I'm still healing for some of the stuff that was done to me. I'm still healing. Was it hard for me to let Sarah in? Yeah. Yeah, it was hard. But I made a decision that I'm not going to allow my past to dictate my destiny. I made a decision that just because, um, you know, I've had women to come into my life and, you know, act like they were my friends only because they trying to see how I'm living or what I got or, you know, just all this kind of foolishness. And I'm like, yo, I'm a simple girl. Like, like, like my girl Sarah, I'm a simple girl living in a complex world. And all I'm doing is just writing my purpose diaries. <laughs> Addict husband won't let go of me or drugs trying to move on. But we pray that the Lord, we pray that the Lord gives you the courage. To move on. People I found out were only there for what they could get when I needed them. They faded. That, that Listen, when people show you who they are, believe them. But let me say this. Although we've been hurt, although many of us have been betrayed, some of us have been the betrayer, although we have, you know, we, we're trying to figure out how to let go and move on, I'm here to let you guys know, go ahead and embrace your healing. Go ahead and embrace your healing because there are some amazing people out here. Hear me good. There's some amazing people out here. And if you don't get healed and you don't let go of the people that have hurt you, you will mishandle the people that God is sending into your life for this next season. Everybody is not a everybody's not a demon. Everybody's not after what you got. Some people love you genuinely for what you for who you are. They don't want nothing from you. But you got to be able to discern who those people are. The Bible says, no, no man after the flesh, but by his what? Spirit. So you got to be able to discern who is who. And let me tell y'all something. This is the number one thing that set me free. Somebody say, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Somebody say, tell me. The number one thing that set me free. Somebody say, tell me, tell me. Was when I learned the difference between friends, fans, 
and followers. When you learn the difference between friends, mentees, clients, when you learn the difference between those areas, uh, <laughs> Jakes calls them comrades, constituents, and confidants. When you learn the difference in, to, in, 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 in who people are, and start putting people in the right positions, you will you will not be so disappointed all the time. Yeah, I made one of my mentees my assistant and should have never did that. So what's some things that you guys are dealing with that maybe you have some questions or some things you want me to elaborate on? I'm serious. Sisterhood is a, is a big deal. And guys, we have got to learn how to love again and trust again. Some of you women have hard, had your heart broken by a man. Allow the Lord to heal it so that you can receive the real love and agape love, the God kind of love from the godly man that God is going to place in your life. I'm telling you, when we are wounded and we, we embrace our hurt and we just hold it there, then we block out all of the amazing people that God have you know, that, that he desires to have enter into our life. Somebody say no more blockage. No more blockage. If you find out someone you trusted is talking about you, should you confront them? It all depends because what I'm learning now with confrontation, with front, confronting people, they ain't going to tell you the truth. So I would say, make sure you have a reliable source and it all depends on what they're talking about. You know, if it's something that you say, yo, what up? You know, now I'm the type of friend. I'm a little different. I'd be like, you know, I've been got them jokers on three-way or something. But it all depends on what it is. If it's worth it, you know, if it's something personal um, that perhaps was repeated or shared, then absolutely I would confront them. But I would confront them in love. I wouldn't confront them automatically accusing them. If it's something, now this is how I test people. When new people come into my life, I share something with them that I ain't never shared with anybody. And then if I ever hear it again, I know exactly who it is. The reason why so many of you get food in relationships because you're telling your business to everybody. Mm -mm. Stop doing that. Stop telling your business to everybody. I share something. I've shared some things with Sarah that I ain't never told nobody. So if I ever hear it again, I know it came from that joker. <laughs> Pray for discernment. Discernment uh, is released in prayer. Oh, girl, don't tell me. She said, I need friends with vision. Having vision by yourself is hard. It's extremely hard. I had a whole team of people where I was the only visionary. I was the only entrepreneur. <coughs> Everybody on my team, <coughs> and they're amazing people. We were just we were just operating off of two different frequencies. But um, none of them were visionaries. None of them were entrepreneurs. So we saw things differently. Where they needed empowerment and encouragement every day, I was self-motivated. I was God-motivated. So I didn't need, like, a lot of people calling me or praying for me. I didn't need all of that because I had been through enough with God to say, you know what? If today's not a good day, I pick myself up, dust myself off again. But I don't turn days, you know, moments into days and days into weeks and weeks into months and months into years. And then, bam, that's my life. No, I didn't do that. But one of the things that I had to do, it was very painful, was I had to separate. Because whom you assemble, you will soon resemble. And that is so true. And because I didn't have any entrepreneurs in my circle, I found myself frustrated every day. Because I kept trying to drag a group of women to a place that they did not desire to go. So that's true. That's very true. I had to stare away from the screen so that I could get in a, um, a complete thought. But yeah. Yeah. So you need people in your circle. You know, you need people in your circle. And it's so amazing because I'm connecting with women now that, you know, I'm just encouraging them and they're moving. You know, one of my clients, her name is Agatha Demond. She's never been on Facebook. Never been on Facebook. I mean, never been on uh, Periscope. I encourage her to do her first Periscope. She did that today. And then on top of that, um, she did, um, she released her new website. That's so awesome. Do I have an email? Yes, it's Carla at womenofstandard.org. Now, I have a rule. If y'all email me and y'all want to tell me a story, give me the short version. Don't send me longer than five sentences. I just, If it's too long, I can't. It's, I just, I just, I'd rather you give me the short version. What's your question, baby? I'm sorry. I'm being honest with y'all. If y'all want me to read your email, don't send me. Somebody sent me like, you swear you asked it over ten times now. Oh, you sound impatient, baby. Um, You all right? 
You need a hug? Now, we, we doing sister chat, but I looked away. I know you saw me looking away so that I could focus on one question at a time. So the same way I... Okay. I said I wasn't going to do that no more. Um, you sent your long email. You sorry. Did I respond? How do I move past a massive rejection from a man who cheated on me? I'm so hurt. Time. Probably because it was too long. Now, shit, send me a shorter version. <laughs> Time, sweetheart. Time. Time. Being honest with God. Getting with getting with some, you know, get some solid sisters. We Listen, the reason why the enemy has a field day with many of us, because we don't have solid sisters in our life. Even if it starts out, maybe some sisters from your church, from the community. You know, you got to get with some. Y'all, you can't hold everything in. We We need somebody to release to. We need somebody to release to and so it takes time when wounds are fresh there's some things guys <clears throat> that i've been through my life and i swear i thought my life was over i was like lord this is it you know i'm saying so this is the big one elizabeth I'm coming to join you i was like this is it i'm gonna take this bottle of pills y'all know i was suicidal i tried to kill myself one time i took a whole bottle of pills took a whole how do you take a whole bottle of tylenol and wake up with a headache what they do that at jesus i was trying to get away from here i take a whole bottle of tylenol Oh, yes, I did respond to that. I responded to that, that about the house. Yes, I did. I responded to that this morning. I mean, this, I just finished responding to all my emails. So, yes, I did respond to that. So, y'all, somebody put your question back on the thing. I don't want y'all getting mad with me because I'm missing y'all question. Let me tell y'all something. I was on my sister Real Talk Kim Scope. I just love Kim. I texted her today and was like, girl, I done got me a hate email. Yo, y'all remember the girl that was on the scope earlier today? Um, when I was cutting up and, and she was like, um, she wanted to ask me about back Black Panthers and then she was like, or oh, is that too political? And I was like, yeah, I don't do politics. And she tried to throw shade, was like, Black Panthers is not politics. I said, well, I only responded to the last part rather than the first part. And then she threw shade. Honey, she sent me a hate email, honey. Yeah, she was like, I think it was so rude of you, and I done sold into your ministry, da, da, da. and she was like, black preachers, da da da. And so I, 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 I wasn't gonna respond, but I, I, I said okay. I said, listen, darling, whatever I said to offend you, I apologize. I said, God bless you, may the Lord shine upon you, and 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 wish you well in all your endeavors. I got hate email. I had to, I had to text Kim. I said, Kim, honey, this is the second time this happened to me before. I said, Kim, I done got hate mail. She said, Well, honey, welcome, welcome to the other side. She said, I get hate mail every day. I said, Kim, you joking. She said, yeah, I get hate mail all the time. And I'm just like, this shit was serious. And, and, and so I just, you know, you can't please everybody. But one of the things I was saying was that I was watching Kim on her scope. And people come on there and say some dumb stuff. And Kim just is so nice to them. And I was like, that must be, is that a white girl thing? Like, I was like, Kim, I be getting the attitude. I was like, I need to work on my attitude. Because Kim be so nice. Because they'll say something. Like, she was talking about Preachers of Atlanta because it comes on tonight. And um, I don't really watch it. I, I haven't watched it. I just watched it through Kim's scope when she scoped it. And Tommy, Kim was so nice. And I was like... Now, see, a joker would have said that to me because Kim was like, well, I don't really care what y'all think. You know, if, if y'all, yeah, you're entitled to your opinion. She's like, I just don't really care what anybody thinks. And I'm like, I want to fuss that joker out. Like, okay, Kim, I told Kim. I said, girl, you are teaching me something. And she'll tell them, she said, you entitled to your opinion? And she don't even get mad. I was like, oh. Kim, you did. So I learned something from my sister Scope tonight. <laughs> Yeah, real talk, Kim. Y'all follow her. She is so awesome. I love her. She preached my first Girl You Rock conference two years ago, and we've been connected ever since. Ever since we've been connected, and so I'm so I'm so grateful. You know, I'm so grateful. My words. I'm so grateful for the kingdom connections that God has given me, and um to the to the sisters that He's placed in my life. So, were there any other questions? I'm sorry if I missed that baby's question. Listen, if y'all see a question on the screen, just answer it for them. Answer it for me. Shoot, I can't catch y'all of it. We in this thing together. We sisters. Carla, what about a friend that her husband? I seen yours a couple times. You the one that asked me, baby. Here it go. What about if her husband? Oh, I saw that. I didn't really have an answer. Um, if you friends with somebody and their husband don't like you. I, I I have never experienced that before. At least I didn't know it. Um, I guess try to find out from your friend why he don't like you, because it's gonna be kind of hard to be friends with your with yeah. That is rough, Tommy, because it's gonna kind of you know if I had a married friend where her husband didn't like me, that would put a, a, a drain. That would put a um 
you know, that will pull at our friendship. So um, I don't know if it's because you're single. I don't know, y'all, because mo a lot, I, had, I had quite a few friends that were married and I was single. But see, I was all about purpose and writing books and, you know, doing all this great stuff. And, and so I didn't, I wasn't the type of friend to give single women stupid, I mean, give married women stupid advice to my lead, your husband, lead them for anything. I'd be like, honey, you better work that out, honey. You in it. Let, think about your covenant. Let's, let's figure it out. Let's work it out. So they said, just step back and believe God for reconciliation. If it's in his will, the marriage covenant. I'm so grateful. Awesome. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. He's just controlling. Yeah, I don't know. Now nah, I'm engaged, but that's not why. Oh, well, darling, then I don't know then. If you know the answer, then um, I don't know why you asked it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know how to answer that question because there could be different reasons. Oh, you talking about you don't know why, like, somebody said because you're single. Yeah, I don't think, I don't, that could not be it because as a single woman, I have, I had, had, had married friends. So, that's not always it. So, darling, I don't really know. But we about to drive off now. I love you guys. I hope y'all have enjoyed the sister chat. Did y'all enjoy the sister chat? Did y'all get anything from it? Put your number one takeaway on the screen. I'm sorry I didn't get to all of your questions. I'll come back. Don't get mad at me. I love you. Hopefully my um, Wi-Fi won't go off. Y'all got nothing. Yes, I think stay focused on your friendship with your girlfriend. Awesome. I love you too. God bless you, Tommy. It was great. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Don't let moments turn into days. Days turn to weeks. That's right. You love my scopes earlier. Thank you so much. If God already removed, you stay removed. Now, there's sometimes when God will bring you to a place of reconciliation. Just chatting with you is great. Appreciate all you do. Oh, thank you, Tommy. You know, there's times when God will bring you to a place of reconciliation with people. Hey, Pastor McKenzie, I didn't know you were here. Know the difference between friends, fans, and followers. That's right. Advice on healing. Takes time. Takes time. Read books on healing. Apply those broken areas. Um, you know, give it to the Lord in prayer. Prayer is the best medicine. Prayer. I'm talking about because you don't really know how to pray. Until somebody don't hurt you to your soul. They don't hurt you to your guts. And all they did was awaken the warrior on the inside of you. That's all they did. That's awesome. Follow Tommy. She said she do scopes on healing. Let's do it. All right. I love you guys. Y'all have an amazing day. Meet me tomorrow. Don't forget, meet me tomorrow at 6 a.m. for prayer. I think we're on day 38. And look, check this out. Y'all go and like this page. Go and like Sister Chat with Carla Cannon on Facebook. How many of y'all are going to do it? Go on Facebook and like Sister Chat with Carla Cannon. How many of y'all going to go like it? Go like that page. You can stay connected. I'm going to upload this to YouTube. All of the Sister Chats are on YouTube. Y'all got to go get the newest book because that's what we're going to be discussing. And it's called How to Date and Stay Saved. So please go and like that page. Invite your followers. Once you go and like it, invite your followers, y'all. Let's start, let's start a whole movement with the Sister Chat. Because there's so many sisters that are just like you and I that don't have a lot of friends that, you know, have things we need to talk about. And so I want you guys to just, you know, even email me your topics, things that you want me to discuss during Sister Chat. Email it to me. Um, put subject line, put uh, Sister Chat, and then whatever the question or the topic is. Remember, don't send me no long emails, please. Just send, you know, the question or the topic, and let's rock out, okay? I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the morning, 6 a.m. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Carla Cannon, so you can go back and watch all of the prayers. You can share them. You can go back and watch the sister chat, okay? And I'm praying for you to my sister says you don't have real friends. I know what that feels like. Sometimes we're in a place of transition, but one of the things I'm learning is that we got to become the friend that we desire to attract. That's good. Just like we desire, some of us are, are desiring mates. We got to become better so we can attract better. She said, y'all driving fast. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Y'all go get some rest. Don't jump from Periscope to Periscope to Periscope. Watch them replays. Go get you some rest. Rest tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm going home to do rest get you some rest it's early oh it's almost nice it's almost 10 o'clock lord jesus i didn't know it was that late but okay i love you guys y'all gonna see me in the morning i'll be like i woke up like this <laughs>
Y'all have a great night. I love you. Oh, don't forget, I'm in South Carolina on Friday at Columbia College. Y'all make sure whoever's in South Carolina, you're near South Carolina, I am there this Friday and I'm coming to share my story. I'm coming to empower the, 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 the women, to encourage them, to motivate them, to allow them to ask me questions. It's going to be an open forum. It's an empowerment session and I am fired up. I am so excited about coming to Columbia, South Carolina. Shout out to my girl, LaShonda Lofton. She's going to drive me to South Carolina. I'm so good. You know, they, my girls love me. They know I do not like the drive. And then Chena is going to um, come from Greensboro to South Carolina to, to be there with me. And so I'm just so grateful. I'm Y'all, I'm a living witness that God will send people into your life. I lost everybody that was in my circle. And God literally sent strangers. I met LaShonda through Facebook. He sent strangers. We've been connected now for a while. She's done. I believe the girl got every product I ever had. Chena, the same way. Met her through Facebook. She volunteered at my conference. Been connected ever since. Yes, yeah, strangers. When I say strangers, the, I did not know them from Facebook. And they showed up at my events. And and everybody, you know, I had people that get mad with me before. They'll show up at my event and they may have false expectation thinking that um me and them going to be real cool. I follow Holy Spirit. If I don't feel a connection with you, I don't force it. Now, I love everybody. And in that moment that we're talking, you will feel like we're the best of friends. Ain't that what your your Mima do? Your Mima will who who they always say, well, who is Mima's favorite? Whoever she's talking to at the time. It can sound crazy and awesome at the same time, sis, but I'm telling you, a lot of times it's the ones that you know and that's in your intimate circle and share your last name that you gotta watch with the side eye. And God will send you people into your life. I'm telling you, my greatest level of supporters didn't come from people that I knew. It came from people that I did not know. I tell my new authors all the time, stop thinking that the people in your family going to be the ones that's going to buy your books up. It's going to buy them. It's going to be them people that you did not know that's going to buy every product that you have. And so I come to give hope. We're talking about how to let go, become healed, how to move on. And so we got to deal with these things and we got to understand that everybody in the world is not bad. I don't necessarily trust people. I trust God. That's my medicine. I don't trust. I don't necessarily trust people. The Bible says, put your trust in no man, but I trust the Lord. I trust people to be who they're going to be and do what they're going to do. And, and that's the type of thing that people know. I talk about everything I go through. So, it, you know, it ain't no surprise. I don't talk about people. I talk about what I go through. So you do crazy stuff to me. I ain't necessarily talking about you. I'm just talking about what happened. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. I love you. Make sure you go like the page. Sister Chat with Carla Cannon. I'm in South Carolina this Friday. I love you guys. If you want to be a ambassador, I don't know what KMSL means. What that mean? Um, um, if you want to be an ambassador for the Women of Standard Experience and bring it to your city, we would love, love, love to rock it out. Okay? Love you so much. Email me if you're interested in that. That's amazing. I love you, girl. I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on my certified birth certificate. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to kill myself laughing. Oh! Cause girl, I didn't know what that KML mean. It looked like you had KMSL. So I didn't know what that meant. Kill myself laughing. Where y'all make that up at? I ain't never heard of that. I, all I know is LOL. That's right. How people feel about you is none of your business. However, some things that people say we should listen to to see if it's something we need to correct. All gossip ain't bad gossip. They say, girl, she thinks she out there. And if everybody's saying it, then you need to check yourself and be like, you know what? If everybody keeps saying I think I'm that I'm arrogant, I think I'm arrogant. Or that I'm arrogant. What kind of romance am I giving out? What am I hmm, you know? So sometimes when people say things, you gotta listen sometimes so that you can see how you need to um correct it. Yeah, I had myself cracking up. I think I'm gonna put that video on YouTube. That thing was so funny when I couldn't see. I'ma name that, you know, I Doctor Chronicles or something. Cause that why you driving so crazy? You wanna hurry? But um, who are me? Who are me to judge? <laughs> 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 I can't, I can't with y'all tonight. Not tonight. Why do I gotta do my hair like this? Cause who are me to judge? <laughs> Why you? <laughs> <laughs> y'all just mad because why y'all on Oreos? I'm on Captain Crunch. <laughs> I don't even. I don't like this no 
more. Okay. Y'all, this video gotta go on YouTube. I came with y'all tonight. Not tonight. Y'all gonna make me lose my followers. Everybody don't understand that. Everybody, they gonna say, she going to hell. She mocking. They, oh, I told folks, stop trying to send me to hell because I ain't going. <laughs> One more time. What's, what I supposed to be saying? Patience to myself. I said, what I supposed to be saying? They said goodnight. One more time. I forgot what it is. Um, who are me to judge? Who are me to judge? <laughs> who are me to judge? <laughs> Cause who are me to judge? Uh huh. Uh huh. That's how he do it. He be like, uh huh. <laughs> I want to meet him. I just want to have a conversation, honey. And I'm gonna be talking to him just like this. I'm gonna say, yes, honey. What did the Lord do, honey? Yes. What did he do? He did it. Yes, he did it. He gonna have to convince me, honey. But anyhow. Y'all done had y'all laugh for the night. You told me something silly. Y'all done had y'all laugh for the night. I'm done. Good night. I love y'all. I see y'all in the morning. Okay? Bye. Because <laughs> who I meet to judge? <laughs>